Hey ladies and gents, Rock Ranger 303 here. Uh, just a quick video uh, impromptu, you haven't planned it or anything because I just noticed something when I was reloading some 300 WSM uh, cartridges today, I was resizing, resizing. and um, it's something that makes perfect sense when you think of it, but I haven't thought of it before, I just noticed it today. So uh, I thought I might just document it and um, you know, probably a lot of people out there already know all about it. Um, I've been reloading for few years now, and I, I, you know, I should have known about it, but I just didn't know this until today. So anyway, um, here it is. So ladies and gents, this is what I was talking about. Um, I was resizing, full length resizing my 300 WSM cases and I know with my Hornady lock and load uh, headspace comparator here, I know that my 300 WSM likes uh, to have a headspace uh, on this comparator, it's not absolute headspace, of 3.747, 748, like it's a change of back and forth there. So that's how I set it up. Um, and all was good for a while. And then I checked a couple of cases and I was getting 3.744. So what's going on? Well, I'll tell you. So what I'm doing is I'm introducing an inconsistency in my reloading process by using different amounts of lubricant, lubricant um, on my cases uh, when I'm resizing them. So I'll, I'll demonstrate it here, but I've got two cases that I've just picked at random here. 3.749, I hope that focuses. And like I said, this is not absolute headspace, and 3.749. But it allows you to compare like for like, and it allows you to get consistency. So I'll go ahead and um, resize these with different amounts of lubricant, and we'll measure them again. So before I do that, what I'll do is I'll um, just put one of these um, cases that I haven't sized yet um, in the chamber. And you won't get it on camera, obviously, but I'll get a feel for how it closes it. Fairly stiff. It's a bit stiff, you know. Um, and if I were to reload that just as it was, um, it'd be really stiff to on the bolt lift done afterwards. So anyway, I'll compare that with the resized ones um, after I've done. So I'll go. Away, I'll go ahead and um, size this the way I sort of set it up. I didn't have much lube. Like that. A little bit on the, little bit in the mouth of the case. I'll give that a clean up and then measure it. So just measuring that up now, I don't know how well that comes up, but exactly what I wanted, 3.747. Just try that in the uh, chamber of the rifle. Closes beautifully, okay, and that'll give me the best case life. That'll give me, um, you know, I'm resizing the case the least amount possible. Um, so I'm only resizing it by two thousandths of an inch and it goes from being a bit firm to fitting in there nicely and that's what I'm after. I'll show you what happens when I use too much lube. So this time I'll apply a shed load of lube. And I don't know why I started burying it when I was actually um, doing it before. I don't know what made me do it. It wasn't a conscious thing. I just wasn't paying attention or whatever. Um, but see the difference that it makes. Feel it on the press, it's heaps easier. Give that a clean up and measure it. See what we come up with. 3.744. Big difference, isn't it? So that's a big difference. Uh, 3.744. Um, that's an extra three thousandths of an inch um, if I'm resizing that case that I don't need to um, because it fits in nicely there. It'll still go in nicely and fire okay, but it'll contribute to me cases stretching and it'll shorten my case life and whatever. And if you're a target shooter, I'm not shooting for accuracy. This is a hunting rifle, but um, if you shoot for accuracy, that inconsistency there is you know, something you want to eliminate. And I just found it really interesting how you've got to concentrate on every single operation in the reloading um, process. 
and make sure that you're consistent right down to the last little thing which um, is you know I know it but now I've just sort of really learned it and I just wanted to share it and so the reason this is happening most people probably already know this I'm not breaking any new ground is that um, when the case goes up and the die squeezes the neck down smaller than it has to be the expandable which is already in there gets dragged back out through the mouth of the case making it the correct size but in doing that if you haven't got the consistent amount of lube, sometimes it can stretch the shoulder forward. It's only a couple of thou, but a couple of thou can make a difference in this game. So, like I said, nothing new, but uh, that's, that's what's causing it. So that's pretty much it. Um, my purpose in doing this video wasn't to sort of uh, create anything new. I haven't discovered any new or special way to do something. It was just something I noticed and it reminded me of um, aspects of shooting about your consistency and that. I just thought I'd share it. Maybe it'll stimulate some discussion or might help someone or it might not. But um, anyway. And finally, I want to apologise for the way that this video has been edited. My camera's like a toy and will only uh, record like 30 seconds worth of video at a time. So I've had to, had to edit all this together in a really disjointed fashion. I'm unhappy about that, but there's not much I can do about it. Anyway, uh, that's about it. Thanks heaps for watching. See you later, Rock Ranger 303, out. Yeah.